Hello, this is a chapter four video looking at iterators. So iterators, um, very much like um, for each and while loops used to use in collections and search um, and move through collections. One of the main things it's used for um, is to remove elements of a list um, and it does this very gracefully as we'll see as we go through. A um, bit less code than a, um, a for each or a while loop, however it may be a bit more complicated uh, conceptually to understand. Um, so hopefully we'll try and uh, make that as easy as possible in this video. Um, in terms of the iterator object, in, in order to make an iterator object, um, we use these iterator methods which exist in all um, collection classes. Um, these iterator methods will return an iterator object um, with which we can work with for that particular collection. Um, the iterator object has three methods only, um, a boolean um, a return type method called hasNext which returns true or false um, whether there's another element in the list. Um, the next method which does a couple of things, it, it uh, returns the current element um, and then moves the um, iterator onto the next element in the list. Um, and then finally um, we've got the remove method which um, as it sounds removes a specific element from the list. Um, and this is a very useful method indeed when we're, when we're looking at removals. Um, before carrying on with this video, I'd like you to investigate the API on what those three iterator methods do. Um, make sure you can find those so you'll have to look in the iterator class. Um, also, have a look in the ArrayList class, which is what we're going to be working with. Have a look at the iterator method, um, see what that uh, returns, and see how that works. So here's our iterator, um, uh, an example of using um, an iterator here. Um, we effectively uh, we create our iterator object. Most of the time we call it it. Um, so we create our um, iterator objects, we specify what type of element we're going to be encountering. So for us we're going to be encountering tracks. Um, we then use the collection which we're using and we call the iterator method of that collection and that will return our iterator object. We then go into the while loop and we generally use it in this kind of syntax. So while it has next, whatever um, elements looking at, if, that's, um, if there is more um, elements in the list, um, then it will go into the loop body. Um, you, we then use the next method to get the object, generally assign it to a local variable, do something with that local variable um, and then go b back to the start of the while loop to see if there's another element in the list. So here's the um, list of all files um, iterator method. Um, I've added the iterator bit so you can see it when, when we're working with the music, music organizer class. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a few slides now to try and break down the function of this iterate, um, iteration as to see exactly how it works. So the first job we need to, to do is to create the iterator object. Remember we're using an iterator object and we need to look at um, elements of type track. Um, so it's going to look like that iterator um, and then with uh, specifying a track um, element type. As normal we call the iterator object it and in, all, in, in, all, in order to get the correct iterator object we then assign it from our tracks um, array list um, and if you look in the array list we can call this um, method call iterator so it becomes tracks.iterator and then that sets up our new iterator object called it. Once we've got our um, it um, uh, object then uh, we can go into our while loop. So effectively uh, what the iterator will do is it will look at the first element in the list. So in our case this is index 0. Um, so it will say while it.hasNext which basically means um, returning true or false if there is an element um, at the index of 0. So does it have next? Um, in this case yes we do. We've got four elements in the list here and we're looking at the first one so yes we do have the next um, we do have one. Calling the next method, you can only call the next method once. Um, and if you call the next method, that does a couple of things really. Um, that will assign our um, variable, or it will, it will return the um, the element in the um, in the current list. Um, and as I said, we you we usually use an assignment for this. So as you can see um, here, we do exactly that. We have our assignment here. We've created a local variable tk, um, and then what we can do then is we can use the it um, object. Um, and then next we'll return that object um, which will be our first element in the list. Um, so as we, proceed to, as we proceed through that assignment happens and then the other thing the next method does is it points 
um, the iterator at the next element. So once we've done um, the um, system.out.get print line, um, which uses our local variable to get, actually get the details of the track, um, then we'll go to our, um, end, our brace and start the loop all over again. So again, now we're pointing at the uh, second element in the list, index one for us. Um, is the one there? Yes, there is. So it's happy then to move into our while loop. Um, uh, again, we're going to assign our local variable, tk, um, using the next method. That next method, again, will move the iterator on to the next element in the list. And now we're looking at our um, index of two uh, element in the list. Um, is the one there? Yes, there is. Um, so going in and doing the same thing again. Um, assigning our local variable, um, which effectively writes over the previous local variable. Assigning our local variable using the next method from um, the iterator object. Um, as we move through, same thing happens again. Um, then finally, um, we then look at the while loop again. So the iterator's moved on to a final element in the list which isn't there. Um, is there one there? That re will return false in this particular instance here. Um, and so that, at this point, becomes the end of the iteration. So, um, the loop so far, um, we have covered for each loop, while loop, and iterators. Um, basically, it breaks down like this. Um, the for each loop, very useful if you want to just process and do something to every element. While loop, um, good if we want to do some searches and stop partway through an element. Um, but also very good, you'll see later, um, for any program-based repetition where we're not using collections. Um, iterator is very useful for collections which don't have indexes in, so um, you'll see that uh, there's other types of collections which don't have um, indexes, like our array list which we've been using. Um, but mainly the iterator object used um, for uh, removing um, a specific object from a collection. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty important uh, programming pattern, so good to, to get the hang of. Um, here's an example here of um, removing uh, from a collection. Um, so we effectively um, do the same as before, except rather than um, uh, printing out uh, the object, what we're going to do is we're going to go and have a search to see if something is, is in there um, or not. So if you imagine this in a method which takes a parameter of type string called artist to remove, this is how this is going to work. So once again, we create our um, iterator objects using a track type and we call it it as per usual. Um, we then call the iterator method um, from the array list of uh, tracks um, to return the, um, uh, the iterator uh, so we can get the point to the correct uh, collection. Um, going through the class, um, going through starting from, from the word go, is there a collection or is there an element at the first um, part of the list it has next? Will that return true? If it is, then fine, um, and then we'll go through uh, and create our local variable track t um, and return um, the uh, um, the specific element in that list um, and to, to work with that um, locally. Um, we then um, create another local variable string artist um, which will then um, assign then um, to the new object which we've created t um, which is the track that we're looking at uh, and we get the artist from that. So now we've got the name of the artist we need. All we need to do now is compare um, whether the artist to remove, which we've received as a parameter, is the same as the artist which we're looking at. Um, so we compare using the equals um, method um, from the uh, artist. Remember, artist, of, artist is of type string. So in order to get this equals method and look at that, you'll need to look at the string object in the API. Um, if artist are equals, and then the parameter in the list there is artist to remove, um, and then if that is the case, if it, if it does equal that, then remove that. Um, now the good thing about this is, is if any artist have that name, they will be removed from that list. So um, pretty good stuff in terms of removal um, and very useful um, for that sort of thing. Okay, so just reviewing that. Um, Loop statements allow block of statements to be repeated. Um, for, for each is iteration over a collection. While is good for searches and good for uh, outside of collections as well. Um, and then iterators are specifically and very useful for removals. 
um, a load of uh, exercises for you to do there so have a look through those and we'll give you time um, to work on your iterator and uh, uh, while and for each ideas in the lesson see you then